Hi everyone, welcome back to another video lesson with Liberty Park Music. My name is Z, and today we'll be learning how to play the classic song L-O-V-E by Nat King Cole. Um, if you have any questions throughout the video, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, let's begin. Extraordinary E is even more than anyone that you'd adore can love It's all that I can give to you Love is all than just a game for two Two in love can make it Take my heart and please don't break it Love was made for me and you Oh, it's for the way you look at me Oh, it's for the only one I see V is very, very extraordinary E is even more than anyone that you'd adore can love is all that I can give to you Love is more than just a game for two Two in love can make it Take my heart and please don't break it Love was made for me and you Love was made for me and you Love was made for me and you. Okay, so the first thing I should mention when I play this song, I have a capo on the second fret. And the reason for that is pretty simple. I just use this, the capo on the second fret because if I don't use the capo and I just play the song in the key of G, I find that it's too low for my voice. So I put the capo on the 2nd fret so it's in the key of A but the chords I use are exactly the same as the chords that I'm about to show you. So just for this video, let's, let's do it without the capo so we don't get confused with the chords. Okay, so let's begin. Um, the first chord I use is G major. And this G major, the way I play this G major is I use just one finger, I use my ring finger and I'm muting the 5th string in the 1st string as well. So the way I mute the 5th string is I use this part of my ring finger to mute, to lightly touch the 5th string. So it's, it's muted. The way I'm playing it is so that the 6th string can ring, but the 5th string is muted. And the way I, I mute the 1st string is by using this part of my ring finger to lightly touch the 1st string. And then the next chord we have is A minus 7. And then a D7. The way I play D7 is I, I use my thumb to mute the 6th string because you have to mute the 6th string for this chord or else it sounds like this. Listen to how it sounds kind of out. So you have to use your thumb and slightly touch the 6th string. Sorry. So it's muted as well. And then it will sound nice and pretty much like a D7. The next chord is G7. The way I do this G7 is the same way I do my G major, but now I add my little finger on the 3rd fret of the 4th string. And I'm muting the 5th string the same way I did it in the G major chord. And the 1st string I'm muting it either with my index finger using the side of my index finger to lightly touch the string or I don't mute the string at all because it sounds it sounds kind of okay if you don't mute the string so you can let that one go um, 
Besides that, we have C major, which is pretty simple. Again, for the C major, try to mute the sixth string, because if you don't mute the sixth string, it's going to sound like there's one too many notes. Um, the way I mute the sixth string is either using my thumb, similar to the D7, or I use the tip of my ring finger, and I just extend it out just a little, so it's muted as well. And then we have an A7, and then the C sharp diminished. The C sharp diminished, you just have to mute the sixth string, and the way I do that is by using my middle finger, and I'm just laying it on top of the sixth string. And finally, we have E minor, and everyone should know the E minor. It's just index finger and middle finger. And that's it for the chords. And that's all for today's lesson. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe.